Hello, in this video, we are going to study the energy band diagram of PN junction diode. There are various questions related to it. To solve these questions, we will basically make the energy band diagram. Now, we know that energy band diagram or the energy level diagram of a semiconductor is like this. This is conduction level. This is valence level. And if I am talking about intrinsic semiconductor, the Fermi level will be at the center. If I am talking about p-type semiconductor, the Fermi level will shift downwards towards the valence energy level. And if I am talking about the n-type semiconductor, the Fermi level will shift upwards to the conduction level. So this is basic energy diagram for semiconductor. Now using this basic formula for P N junction. We know this is P N and this is depletion region. So making the energy levels for this. If we use this basic concept. What our mind will say? Our mind will say that this is P. So for it let this be conduction energy. This is valence energy. And for N this is conduction energy. And this is valence energy. This is for N type. This is for P type. Now, according to the basic rule, the Fermi level for P type will be here, near the valence band. So, this will be E F of P type. For N type, it will be near conduction energy. It will be here. F of N. Now, this is the basic layout what our mind tells us because we know the basic concept of energy level. But actually, this energy, if I join this, I will get this form. I get this energy band diagram for P N junction diode. But actually, this is wrong. So, what is the actual diagram and why the result is that? Not this. Let's see. For energy diagram, we have one basic thing to understand. What is that? That the Fermi level for P and N will be at the same level, not up and down. Like this. This is Fermi level for P and this is Fermi level for N type. Now, According to the basic rule, for P type, it should be near valence band. So, E V of P will be here. And according to N type, it should be near conduction. So, it will be E of conduction for N type. And accordingly, we can adjust the conduction band for P and valence band for N. So, this is the actual diagram which we get in real. If I join these, this is the basic energy band diagram for P and junction. Now, why is it so? First question, why the Fermi level of P type and N type at the same level? Now, the answer to this is very basic in theoretical basis. We know that P and junction is formed by combining P and N type. And when both of these combine, there is movement of charges. Electrons move from N to P type. But after some time, there is no movement. We know that depletion region is formed. That means further no movement, no diffusion is possible. Why is it so? Because the state of equilibrium is there. Here we say that there is a barrier created. But that barrier creates the position of equilibrium. That the electrons are here, the holes are here and the middle ones are neutralized. So the equilibrium state is specified by this Fermi level in this band diagram that there is simply equilibrium state between P and N. Now, this band diagram has one more question that why there is gap. Now, as we have made this diagram, it is clear that if the Fermi level position is fixed, we will automatically adjust the conduction and valence band positions. 
बट दिस पिक्चर डिस्क्राइब्स द पी एन जंक्शन डायऑट हाउ वी नो दैट इफ वी वॉन्ट इलेक्ट्रॉन्स टू मूव फ्रॉम एन टू पी फर्दर वी नीड टू अप्लाई वोल्टेज दैट मीन्स वी नीड टू गिव दैम एनर्जी नाउ दैट मीन्स इफ आई वॉन्ट एन टाइप इलेक्ट्रॉन्स टू पास ऑन टू पी टाइप दे रिक्वायर मोर एनर्जी दैट मीन्स द एनर्जी लेवल ऑफ दीज इलेक्ट्रॉन्स शुड बी रेस्ड सो दिस गैप ऑफ एनर्जी लेवल इज द एक्चुअल एनर्जी गैप विच इज रिक्वायर्ड बाई इलेक्ट्रॉन्स टू जम्प so this gap actually represents the amount of energy required by electrons to come up and reach p type that is why there is a step kind of energy band diagram of p and junction this is the basic requirement now the question arises what happens when it is forward bias and reverse bias it is very basic that when it is forward bias when pn junction is forward bias we apply positive voltage here negative voltage here the energy required to electrons to shift becomes more and for that what we need is we need energy to electrons when energy to electrons is given what happens electrons can move up now that is if we give energy to the electrons but what if we give energy to the diode we are giving potential to the diode that means the p type has lowered its energy i'll make for the p type here for p type i am lowering the energy of conduction if i do it with this if i am giving forward biasing the conduction band will move downwards the fermi level will automatically move downwards valence band downwards but n type will remain there only because the energy is given to p type positive energy is given here so the level is decreased the fermi level will definitely change now the fermi level of n and p will be different if i make this here this is lowered position i am representing this here lowered position lowered fermi level valence bond this is conduction this is fermi and this is valence here the c is same e f and conduction is lower valence so if i see still there is some gap electrons need energy to but the gap is lowered by forward biasing but the point to be noted here is the question is why the fermi levels are now not at the same level because when it is forward bias there is no position of equilibrium there is movement of charges electrons are moving from n to p type then there is no state of equilibrium there is state of movement that is why fermi level becomes at the different levels and the difference is just in the gap of this valence band as well as conduction band that means just the barrier voltage is opposed by giving it forward biasing and the energy levels gap is decrease that means it is helping electrons to come out similarly it happens to n type now what happens to n type uh, what happens when it is reverse bias sorry when it is reverse bias when it is reverse bias the potential barrier is supported now if the potential barrier we have seen that the potential barrier is shown by the gap between the energy levels this is for p n this is the equilibrium state this is so this was the energy gap earlier now if the negative voltage is applied here positive here that means it is reversed bias then this level will increase its energy because the energy is now 
given in the opposite direction. First it was lowered, now it is increased. So the gap is increased. Similarly, if the conduction band has shifted, the Fermi level will also shift. Similarly, the valence band will also shift. So the gap increases. So this is how we get to know that the difference in the energy band diagram explains us the PN junction diode functioning and again when it is reversed by Fermi levels are not at the same position because they are not at equilibrium there is movement of charges. So these were the two basic questions about energy band diagram of PN junction. Thank you.